you're looking to change your life in some way and you're sick of not finding any kind of solution, you've kind of stumbled upon the law of attraction or manifestation, then this is exactly what you need because in this 21 day course that I'm putting on this platform for free, I'm gonna break down everything you need to know to become a master at manifestation. This is day two of the 21 day course here and I'm going to continue our momentum from day one speaking about gratitude and the importance of gratitude and taking your presence, your understanding of any experience experience gratitude throughout your day to a deeper level. So this is what I want you to do going off the homework assignment that I assigned in video one. I learned this cool step about deepening your gratitude from this book, Rhonda Byrne, The Magic. What you're going to do is that when you experience gratitude, you are going to take yourself into the moment by doing exactly this. Say something happens where somebody pays you a compliment or you're walking along and you have a nice peaceful moment all to yourself and you're like, wow, this is nice. And you know that you're supposed to look for gratitude and here you are experiencing a moment of gratitude. So you do exactly this. You take a nice deep inhalation. You close your eyes. If you're somewhere safe, you're not driving or something. You place your hand over your heart and you say, thank you. And you allow yourself to really marinate in that gratitude. Feel as if there's a force there gifting you this experience and you are showing and honoring that gift. You are showing respect as receiving it through those two words, thank you. And more importantly, feeling those two words from the bottom of your heart and soul. In order to attract what we truly want, we have to come to gratitude for who we are. Well, how often do you say good things or think good things about yourself? Better question might be, how often do you say bad things or think bad things or feel bad things about yourself? Well, we need to reverse that tide. We need to feel really good about being exactly who we are. So how do we do that? Well, have you ever received a love letter? They're pretty awesome to receive because you feel really special because that person is highlighting all the reasons why they love you. You need to do exactly that but for yourself. What we're trying to do is increase our self value. Working with all of my different clients in my membership and in my mentorship, the number one reason, number one, every single time that we discover they do not have the thing that they want in their life, that loving partner, successful business, dream job, whatever it is that they feel is missing in their life, the reason is, is because they don't feel on a subconscious, deep, soulful level that they are worthy of having that thing in their life. And all we do, our work together, is me helping them believe that they're worthy of it. And when they build momentum, they start attracting that thing into their life. And when they match that frequency, they are living that dream life. So we have to kind of fall in love with ourselves a little bit by increasing our value. So the homework assignment for today is to write yourself a love letter. Some people hate that idea. Do bullet points. Write out why you like certain things. Not about the things, but why you like those things. Why you like camping, why you like hiking, why you like volunteering. Talk about your personality. Don't mention any of your achievements. We're not worried about that. We're talking about the true character and nature of our beingness, and we have to fall in love with that. It may be hard at first, but keep at it. By tomorrow or the end of the week, try to at least start. So all you're gonna do is start writing out why you are in love with yourself. And I know it sounds like people are like, oh, that's so arrogant. It's not. So many other people love all these people around them, but then they don't show that same love for themselves. It is humbled confidence and gratitude. That's what we're shooting for, not boastful arrogance. We are really coming to a place where we feel really good about being who we are and we feel like we are a beautiful, special person. That's okay. Actually, that's really freaking healthy and that really spills out into every other facet of your life. But you have to feel it. You have to breathe it. You have to think it. You have to know it. So we're starting by putting that all down on paper. It can be three sentences. It could be three pages, whatever you're comfortable with. When you start writing, allow yourself to be vulnerable, allow yourself to be transparent and let those words flow onto the paper. When you are done with that, I want you to read that over every single night for an entire week. And I want you to allow yourself to let those words just wash over and through you. 
feel those words. Feel that, you know what? I really am a special person and I don't need to convince anybody else. I just, I need to feel this for myself. This is a practice for you and you alone. What we're doing here through this process is elevating our self-worth and therefore we're gonna start vibrating with or broadcasting an elevated frequency. So the things we ultimately desire, that dream job, that awesome business, the loving person and partner coming to our life, the lifestyle we wish, we actually start feeling worthy of it just by feeling worthy of everything and just for being exactly who we are. So that's how we're gonna get started through that, writing yourself a love letter. That's the homework assignment, so good luck with that. And stay tuned because this is video number two of 21. Every single day, I'm gonna be launching a new video to help you out in this 21 day course. Let me know if you have questions, please follow. Please like this video, share it with somebody who you feel may benefit from it. And just know this one thing, I'm truly grateful for you.